Jemteni ya wati e jem dema roads and transport committee ye wamra shebe je fie ye. Ura kene duwa sen yinya kon. E na waka sa fa sedi e ni panam en kwenshi ya so. E tu wana nanu mo en siya dono. E nye no kwa aso wana no. E ye niye me biya. Si ye nina ye she ye huye ya. En kan kwenshi ya. E beto mi abrasen. En so. E ne e ni pe wu en kwenshi ya mo dodo e sin bi biya. E wo man gana e mo. Ne ya me kasa e transport operators no mo. And in Perifua, who do a shea, a drink, quite a befaso, not come when she are ever brassy, and all this semi etuja. If almost two thousand, we recorded two thousand five hundred and eighty three deaths involving fifteen thousand plus road crashes. Out of the fifteen thousand, we recorded two thousand five hundred and eighty three deaths. 70% of this death can be attributed to these three causes that, how do you deal with it? With the, in terms of the, I have always made my position that we can deal with this issue of accident in three broad areas. One is how the enforcement agencies should make sure they enforce the law to the latter irrespective of whoever is being caught by the law. Because if we have made laws, we have the, tra uh, we have the road uh, 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 traffic regulation laws here, act in this country. And there are regulations that we've passed, LI 2180. But people don't respect those laws that we've made for ourselves. So enforcement is very key. Two is investment in technology. Because now police, I'm even sure, when I travel, even if you go to South Africa, in some of the African countries here, you don't see police people standing in some obscured areas. Their motive is not to just prevent people who maybe may carelessly be misbehaving on the road, but just apprehend them and maybe, so I will just pause here and we'll, we'll watch, they will come back. Sansa miya peni idea to jayi, meka se ye, nshia mudia ni koso wa stakeholders, no, ene, drivers, operators, no, anase, ashen, no, transport operators, no, ene, ya kase yi, adaka brief in pomban, so, kasa, edema VIP, ene, wosu se siya, o kasa, yungo tiye bimra. Since 2012, one particular company, possibly uh, imagining what could be happening in that sector, invested in that sector. So if we are talking about salvaging or recovering or towing vehicles, who has them? It is the smart investor who thought, let me invest in that sector. Who imagined we could have COVID? Nobody imagined it. Incidentally, uh, that company uh, that benefited more from this uh, COVID is the company that we talk about, bola, bola, bola. Now that company has benefited from the COVID that we had. So it was smart thinking. So in this sector, nobody should be uh, discouraged from investing in that sector. All Ghanaian companies, because I do not know of any law that says that you cannot invest in that sector, except that nobody has invested in that sector. So the fact of one person having or one company having invested in that sector should not stop us from having to rely on the specific regulations that are in LI 2180. That says that if you leave your car in the city within, say, an hour, you should move it out from the road. If you do not do so and there's an accident and the accident is traced to your vehicle as being the cause, you are then penalized. Then you break down on the highway, and within four hours, you do not move your vehicle. It is there. It is in the rule. So when the chairman is talking about enforcement of the rule, yes, we should enforce it. When we tend to enforce it, because if you do not move the vehicle, and it is being moved, and now you are being asked to pay, uh, say, 3,000 cities, you are complaining. But during the days of the mandatory towing levy, we allowed private vehicle users who usually pry in the cities to drop the voices of the commercial operators who are on the highways. 
It was the highway, so we didn't make the distinction between a highway and a city, a densely populated area. And the commercial vehicle's voice and that of uh, the private vehicle's voice. So it, this is the time that commercial vehicle uh, operators should be in the position, as canvassed by the uh, STC man, that all oh, stakeholders should be prepared to pay part of it. Let's make our voices clear because we send our drivers on the highways and the menace is so much on the highways because they would encounter these challenges, these difficulties. So I would employ other stakeholders for us all to look to taking decisions, be it concrete, that will protect our drivers, our drivers mate, and our passengers ultimately. And if it involves having to put something in the pool that reduces the cost of the work, let's do it and pay 80 cities a month rather than 80 cities a year, rather than having to wait and pay 3,000 uh, cities per an incident. Mm -hmm. If you have a uh, frequency of running your uh, operations, you will see that at the end of the year, you would have paid over and above mm -hmm. what you would have paid if you were paying 80 cities a month. Yeah. A, a year. I rest my case. Thank you.